I understand that not doing the bench press is not optimal and deviates from the starting strength protocol. However, due to my work and personal schedule, I do not have access to a consistent spotter for the bench press. I would like to avoid the unsafe predicament benching without a spot presents. Given that consistency is one of the key tenets of your program, I would like to replace the bench press with another movement that can be progressed in a similar fashion, providing the appropriate stress needed to stimulate adaptation and be implemented without a spotter. Does there exist such an exercise that fits these criteria? No, or it would be in the program. Now, the way to bench press safely without a spotter is to do it in a power rack with the pins set just below the level of your chest and just above the level of your throat. So that if you miss a rep, you can set it down on the pins without getting killed. All right? That's the first part of the process. And the second part of the process is to learn to accurately gauge the weight that should be on the bar today, all right? You have to learn when to take small jumps on the bench. And that's going to be sooner rather than later for you heroes that want to take 10-pound jumps on the bench. You can't do it. And if you try to do it, you're going to get stuck. And if you haven't prepared to get stuck, then you're going to be in in a pickle, all right? A spotter is wonderful. A spotter can be uh, either a lifesaver and a gigantic aid to your training, or it can be a complete disaster if the guy is just some bro hanging around in, in golds and you call him over and he grabs your fifth PR rep of your last set of five and says, one more, man, it's all you. It's all you. It's all you. So I, you know, I don't know. I mean, there are there are reasons to have spotters, and there are reasons to correctly set the bench press up so that it doesn't kill you, so that you can honestly get a PR without some jackass coming over and sticking his hands in your training. Okay, so don't uh, don't regard a spotter as absolutely necessary to do the bench press. If you're using the correct equipment, you don't need a spotter. Uh, correct equipment. I really think that, you know, there's not any reason at all to bench press at home without protection set in a rack. If you don't have the equipment to bench, then don't bench. All right. I, I, that should be obvious. If you, if you're not in a, if you're trained by yourself and you have trained by yourself and you you have no equipment to bench without protection, then you can't bench press. But by the same token, having a spotter is no guarantee that you're not going to drop the bar on your chest because a spotter can't catch that in the air. Nobody can react that fast. It just, it, the human reaction time is not up to the task of catching a dropped bench press. That can't happen. Doesn't matter if there's two spotters. The bar will hit you in the chest if you drop it. It will hit you in the chest. Now, the the spotters can maybe catch it on the first bounce, (laughs) but by then your sternum's broken, right? So uh, you really, you need protection anyway. So uh, keep that in mind. But to answer your question, no, if there was a substitute movement that was better than the bench, or even close to the bench, it had already been in the program, okay? 